Greetings Mars here and welcome to episode 187 of my modded Factorio playthrough. In this episode we're going to work on automating heat source power and the various components related to it. Enjoy. Okay we've got some assembly machines here. So now we could probably start trying to work on some interesting stuff. Like one thing that uh, I've been wanting for a while now is to upgrade our power production or at least have the buildings ready for it. Looks like we already have solar panel 2's getting ready here. Boiler 4 is a tungsten thing. Looks like we could do electric boilers. It's not really power production per se, but we'll uh, worry about that later when we upgrade our gas production. Steam turbines are a cobalt thing, so we have to wait on those. Same with the heat exchanger 2's here. Although we can do heat pipe 2. Not entirely sure what that gets us besides being a prerequisite for other things. We can make it, which requires lots of silver. Silver and aluminum. Oh no, it might have a higher heat capacity or something like that, but as for now, it doesn't look like we really need it. So we can do the uh, fluid burning heat sources, the regular ones, the heat exchangers, of course, the steam engines, and the heat pipes, and hopefully by then we'll have the uh, solar panels ready. So we'll do the fluid burning, which comes from the regular heat source, which is steel furnace, which is stone furnace, and that comes from stone. Then we'll add in the next step, the heat exchanger, one machine as always, comes from boiler three, from boiler two, from boiler one and from that stone furnace and then we also need our steam engine 3 steam engine 2 and steam engine 1 from one machine probably won't be able to keep up with this because it's a lot of resources but we'll do what we can it's actually not too bad really so those are the main components. We need the supplementary components, things like heat pipes. And that's gonna require an absurd amount of copper plates. So we probably want to direct insert as much as possible. And that's uh, still a way out of what we can do here. Well, how much could we reasonably insert into a machine here? I'm guessing we're not going to need heat pipes that fast. So we can probably uh, wind it down a bit here. And since this uses productivity modules, there's actually going to be a lot going into this, but we probably could do something similar to that. The rest of these machines would have uh, efficiency modules in them. No need to update every single one. Well, actually, if that's the case, and we're producing two heat pipes a second, let's see if we can wind the rest of this down to be approximately that amount, because that gets us to two. And that one's probably close enough to two where we can just leave it. Let's see, steel bearing output is a little high. Drop that down a bit to make it a number we can maintain. This seems fairly reasonable. I liked how it was done here where the individual lines of machines uncoiling the resources and then the bots come and grab them and take them over here. That seems to be a pretty reasonable way of doing things. So we'll try to do the same here, but we also have to make a bunch of pipes because pipes are easy enough to make where you probably don't want to bother putting them on a bus. It is a one to one item ratio. So like one plate goes into one pipe. So it's not terrible in that sense, but still it's taking up a lot of space for an item that's easy to make. And we can actually use some speed modules there. I don't know if we want to bother doing direct insertion of resources for these pipes. Might want to at least try to limit the uh, amount of bots that are flying around here. But eh, it's not that big a deal. It's probably okay to leave it since we're not going to be making that many of these machines. But we need to 
decoil things. And those should be the base resources. I've noticed that the uh, research really hasn't been moving. So I wonder if something got broken. Okay. I believe that is steel. That we uh, need to put the steel chopper in there. Yeah. Since there's a little bit there. Okay, well let's fix that. And we can get over there quickly by flying. Let's see, how many plates did we set up these other things for? Basically the full belt. Well, let's do another full belt. Since we have access to faster machines. And more modules, this changes things. But not too bad. Soon need something similar like this. Uh, just one more time. And perhaps we should move these down. Looks like they're combined on one belt. So I think we need to copy this over here. And that should correctly send things where they need to go. So we need 6.7, or basically this. And we do need to reconfigure this. coils. And I think this was disabled here. So let's set this to coil. And we'll make the coil request. I guess we can line it up right here. And switch this over. steel. How is the steel doing? It's moving along. I noticed there's uh, a piece of steel in there. That seems wrong. But the train is loaded. Here it comes. Looks like it's getting sorted properly. Well, it's going, but it's not completely maxed out, but that could just be a inserter thing here. Well, good enough for now, I suppose, because production is beginning again, and it basically caught up. Let's grab this uh, piece of steel out of there. Some more rocket boosters would be nice. Okay. First, we need to make the raw resources. Copper is just going straight into these heat pipes, so we don't really have to worry about those. We need to do iron and steel. And we've already got a line of iron here. So we just need to do something similar. But with the correct number of machines. Probably these eight, and uh, I think we're giving six spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then boom. And the bots will help us. And we need to do the steel. 13 machines. Close to what we already have. Then we probably want to make these pipes. Although we don't really need too many of them, so we might be able to do them uh, in line like right here. Okay, we might as well put another one of these in here as well. And I'll put a chest there for all of the modules. Though we might want to put that heat pipe uh, assembly off to the side, but uh, we can do it like on the left side here. Let's just grab this for now. Plop it in there. And how many resource types? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So we need to get rid of these. Okay, we've got some things we need to go down the line of. Let's do the heat sources. Actually, the concept will be very similar to this. So we could just kind of copy the whole thing for now. Get rid of some of this extra stuff. And also one thing we can uh, fix is these storage chests. I don't know exactly why I decided that it would be best to have a storage chest going into the provider. Uh-oh. Gotta get rid of those requests. But, uh, doesn't really need it. <laughs> <laughs> that it well, works just fine with uh, just the storage chest right there. <laughs> They're uh, going on their long path. Perhaps I shouldn't have uh, copied those over. Of course, the uh, recipe is wrong too. Okay, make it calm down. Looks like some of these inserters still have items in them. So stone furnace, into steel furnace, into burner heat source, into fluid burning heat source. We can do uh, everything less than 50 for now. And uh, let's wait on setting these requesters until everything else is set up because otherwise it'll be uh, a flurry of bots here and actually this production rate is slow enough to where just the yellow inserters will work fine so we need to do the heat exchangers as well it's probably uh, more of the same here and we need another tier of it uh, we technically don't have to have two machines here making the stone furnaces, but I'll just leave it that way to have it be sequential. It does create two separate places to drop the furnaces at. So we'll do passive provider here and passive provider here to make sure that all of the furnaces get siphoned to this side only. Just to make sure they get used up. Okay, so we need to do... Boiler one. Boiler two. Boiler three. And heat exchanger. Although, it uh, looks like that one goes straight into there, so... The steel furnaces will go on that side, so we can actually use... The storage chest here. Steam engines. We just need three. wonder if I should be squishing this in here. I kind of don't want to. I always like to leave a little bit of space. Just because when you smash things in like that, it just uh, could run into problems if you ever need to change anything. So I'll continue leaving my spaces for now. So this one is a little easier. Just steam one. Steam two. And steam three. And then the supplementary components. Uh, the heat pipes can probably go on the end because they're fairly dense. So let's do the pipes first, starting with the biggest ones. So I guess that would be the steel here. And actually, I don't like how long the bots would have to fly over there for that. So perhaps it should get its own set of steel choppers. The iron's less important, but since I did it, with steel, let's do it with iron as well. And that does change the steel numbers a little bit. Now we just need nine machines. So this is going to be about five machines going into two. Trying desperately to make it direct insertion here. It's going to look kind of funny. Where those are the five machines. And then the ones in here. making the pipes. I mean, there's no reason it can't work. 
I don't like how they have multiple places to go. We could actually kind of insert them in here somewhere as the storage chest. So. The passive providers work just fine. And that's it for those pipes. Let's see. Brass pipes is a lot easier. And we probably want to put some kind of limit on here. We'll just do uh, one line's worth. In iron, we probably can do just off to the side here. Where iron plates go into iron pipes. And this is a single location, so we'll set that up for iron. Okay, we're getting there. And then the heat pipe set up. We need to get this thing flanked by nine machines. Not so sure that's possible. I mean, we can do eight. I'll just uh, call it a day there with eight. Have to be a little not straight here to get everything to reach. Then all of that goes in for just a tiny little output right here and set to heat pipes. There we go. So now we can sort of slam all these in here. I think that's most everything, so now we just gotta get it all set up. We need some logic on there too. Probably want a lot more than 50. Let's go with 500. Let's connect some of these things and see how they work. Well, that much is as you would expect. Let's try our pipe makers. Seems fine. Oh, I didn't uh, bring the steel in here, though. That's a little problematic. Well, I think it was included in the other steel machines. But it's also kind of a lot of steel, so... Maybe should make it nearby. So five steel machines. Can probably just kind of... Slice this in up here. How much steel is this? 20 per second, which is quite a lot. Let's see. Let's remove this charge pad for now. Let's do something kind of funny. Where you have loaders coming in here. Just as a sorting warehouse. Then it goes down, of course. We have to get 20 per second in. And uh, let's just use a loader for that. I don't like using them to go straight into assembly machines, but... Given the situation, I think it's okay. Looks like everything else caught up pretty quick. We wanted productivities here and efficiencies there. Well, let's make them fast. And finally, the other resources we need. I'm having trouble getting everything smushed in here. So they came out here instead. And that's probably okay. We can kind of just smash them in there. And these are all set up for about a thousand. So let's see them all fill up. And good. So now we need to get all these tiers set up. want to make sure we're not including machines from the previous tier. Why are they going all the way over there? Perhaps there is not enough iron available here. Or it was just a, a burst that they needed to fill up. That could very well be the case. So 
now we need to set up the next one. Except to not include these engines. And the same thing here. <laughs> and look at that. Yeah, they're definitely taking resources from other chests because it got maxed out. While we're waiting for this, we probably can do any more relevant research. And the character upgrades sound like a good thing to do. I think we were running out of power before, so we'll have to see how it works now, but... Well, we'll be able to upgrade power, so it won't be that much of a problem anymore. Eh, it looks like that calmed down. I kind of want to, uh... Put a requester chest out there. It's kind of annoying. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. But we can go in there. Remove... The item from that, and then throw it in there. And then we don't have to do that extra step of picking things up. So we can kind of do the same thing. With each of these here. And how many logistics bots are we using right now? A lot of them. <laughs> eh, but uh, it's always like this in the beginning when it has to top everything up. And these last ones. Now that all the bots are parked, makes it a little easier to work on this. See, are these set to the same recipe? Actually, it looks like it. This should be the fluid burning heat source. But we have to make sure it's using the right recipe. It needs to use the burner heat source recipe. And that should be most everything. Notice that uh, nickel ore continues to go down. It's slowly going down, but it is. Did we go through that giant amount of nickel we had stored? No, not quite. <laughs> Getting there, though. Building a bunch of this should uh, consume a lot of nickel. And it uh, seems to be working. Well, time to add more rules to our logistics and make it even more complicated. Well. We really don't need stone for anything. Certainly not carbon either. Kind of what I'm doing is just going through the items in the inventory. Helmod smart tool. We definitely don't need that. And just seeing what we have and what hasn't been taken care of bots and trying to uh, make a decision based on that. Uh, we might not need that tin copper wire anymore. Yeah, I'm thinking not because we're making poles now. So... Come in here, make that zero. Actually, not so sure about batteries either. So how many batteries do we actually handcraft with? We do handcraft things sometimes. But not that often where we need to have it in the inventory. So we can just get rid of it. Okay, well, we need to go through our heat-producing items. We probably don't need to be carrying around the actual heat sources or anything really. If we're building a setup, we could probably just pick them up by hand because robots will be able to handle all of that. So we need to go through here and make sure that every relevant thing is included. The list will just keep getting bigger. It looks like they are taking care of things okay. Oh yeah, we needed to put this over here 
and give them a nice place to charge. But uh, I think that's good for now. How is this thing doing? Doing okay. Not too much junk right now. Well, it's probably about time to start expanding our bot's reaches. Because now we need to go through and upgrade any random setup to the better heat burners. It seems to be working fine here. And this is all moving along nice and smoothly. But we are going to need to upgrade some stuff. This was already upgraded, so that's fine. Probably can look at the electrical network to see if any uh, tier 2 items pop up. But I'm pretty sure they do because <laughs> all of this. We need a radar over there. So this whole thing can be rebuilt a little better. Rebuilding it in the same spot is probably fine. Let's see, these have all been modernized already. And those are pretty good. It might just be these. We'll just have to replace things and uh, see how they work. But we need to get bots down there. So that's something that we need to uh, start on here. Well, now that we have most everything we need for that, we can uh, start to automate that process a bit. Luckily, the logistic zones have a wider range than the power poles. So, we can just put a pole there and maybe some charge ports alongside the light. Just keep coming down here. And we are using our uh, nanobots for that. Probably don't want to because we want the robots to do it for us. And we need to get them all the way down here to where our power production is. So how are the bots doing? Yeah, they're getting there. It does take a while because they have to uh, do each one one at a time. So it is going to take them a little while to expand their way down here, but they'll make it. Well, we've made it down here at least. But unfortunately, that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.